What's up guys, this is Andrew Ace. I wanted to tell you a little bit about Dreambox. And this is honestly the, uh, I'm not gonna show that part. Um, I have this lanyard hanging out. If you've seen the trailer, I'm using my own lanyard. So um, I'll tell you right off the bat what I don't like about this. Um, not the lanyard but this. I punched my own hole because it, it, it didn't come with a hole, but if you get the trick, you'll understand why they didn't put a hole. They just kind of let it sit and clip on, but it kept falling off too much. And I'm like, if I'm gonna bring this out and they put this on, that could just slide right off unless it's hooked. So you can perform it just as good um, and I uh, made the decision after asking someone else what they thought. So, you got the alarm in it. How this trick works is it's it's a powerhouse. This is like an Alakazam effect. I can see why it wouldn't be though, because um, there's just, there's a lot of setup. I'll put it at that. But it's a one-time thing and uh, you, you know, you set up a few cards or so. There's some cards that are done, they're ready. They're just regular postcard kind of things. And then there's about the celebrity stuff. I won't go into more than that, but it's, it's, it's good. Um, the one thing I'll say also in the review I did on Penguin, still pending, uh, unless you're watching this later. Inside here, you also get, so you get the lanyard, you get a, just a really thin black string with the ring to put on there, but it's like, you know, it's crap. They could have at least put a nice lanyard, but it was what it is. I have these things for my performing, so, you know, it's nice and shiny. Um, so you get the lanyard, you get, what's in here there's also something inside here so when you tell them to go ahead and feel you might feel something in one of the corners right i won't go more into that um and i won't go more into this but i wish i could let you see this way but you might see uh you're not going to see the method but you might understand you understand uh, where it's headed, um, but really, this is this is a fooler. It fooled me, and uh, I haven't been around the block as much as you guys have, but I have a good idea. About three to four years into the professional line products, um, you know, I'm I kind of get principles at this point. Uh, and I've never seen anything like this. Um, maybe there's been a concept that he made this on, but I've never seen anything like this. And I really think this is gonna be a trick of the year. Uh, this and another one, because I will tell you, there's a lot of dirty work. There's sleight of hand. There is, it's, it's not a beginner's trick. I'm just gonna say that, because you're gonna have so much trouble um, you're going to be asking a lot of questions. I can see the p questions on Penguin Magic right now, or Alakazam. So, uh, and I'm usually the one with questions. He also has a very thick accent. Um, I think he's Italian. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter what he is. He's a person. And, uh, he's a nice guy. He actually does message you. If you have a question, you can reach out to him. Uh, by email or on Facebook, and he says that in the first part of the video. It's, you get a 17 minute video and then another 17 minute video, uh, part one, part two. Um, but if his accent was easier for me to understand, I would have been performing this, or at least knowing this, a week ago. It took me a week to kind of just start to understand him, and then uh, from there, I just kept rewinding each phrase and, you know, 
maybe you might have to do that but i don't know he's a nice he's a nice guy and um yeah you know uh he put together an amazing product um forgive me i don't know if his name is j-o-t-a jota or however you say it jota or if that's just the company name but i think that's his name because it has his his uh, Twitter handle on the bottom. So, um, it does say, on the back, I can say certain things. It says, Dreambox allows you to predict, predict a surreal experience chosen by your spectators, which is true. You give the participant a credential from the beginning of the act, and that's what I couldn't understand when he was saying credential. And he was talking about this, and I was like, no, no, no. Isn't he talking about a laminate or, you know, uh, like a pass kind of a thing? So he was calling this credentials. And when I think of credentials, I think of like credentials you need for a job or I don't know. I'm autistic and high functioning, black and white thinking. So um, I'm saying that because that's what I think about when I hear credential. I don't think about this. Uh, but this is a credential. This is your pass. You're giving them to experience something. And um, it says, so you give them at the beginning of the act, the lanyard, they wear it. Then you ask the spectator to make a different, to make different choices after that. Make a unique and unrepeatable. That's kind of, well, yeah, they're saying unrepeatable experience. And that's because, um, they want it to feel like this is only gonna happen to you. However, there is, and this is what people might not like, because I said there's sleight of hand. Um, there is a lot, like I said, there's dirty work. It's not always clean. However, I performed it two times after just learning it yesterday, just to my parents and my caregiver. And, uh, you know, we really, I, I got great reactions. Um, and, um, you know, because there is a lot of setup for the first time, you'll never need to do it again. Uh, you know, so don't get stirred away. Um, but it is actually a repeatable experience. Maybe it's not going to be the same, but you could do it to the person right next to them. And as long as they make different choices, even if it's one person that's different if it's a celebrity because they go they pick uh i'm not going to say the names they pick a destination they pick a band that's going to play that night they pick a, a drink then they pick a celebrity to take a selfie with so as long as they get one thing different from the person next to them you can do this and there's tons and tons of outcomes that's all i will say and that's why there's dirty work that's why you know you got to practice make sure it's clean the reason why I was able to do this right after is because I've done this sleight of hand move before with things. Uh, and it's something that they won't think about because you're so deceptive at that moment. Uh, and I got this more from me understanding myself rather than watching the video and talking to him directly. I would email back and forth with JOT. Um, so yeah, it just says, at the end you show you made the credential that there was printed and the exact choices will be made. So at the end, you, you show them the cards and stuff they want. And you say, okay, well, you've had this on your neck and you take it off their neck, you pull it out. You tell them you feel something and they feel it right here. And then they pull it out or, you know, it's pulled out and, uh, after that, you, um, after you pull it, pull it out of the lanyard, you, um, you reveal that everything that they said and they wanted to do was predicted in this order. And, uh, it also has the celebrity they chose to take a selfie with. Now, I'll tell you two more downfalls that I don't like. But I still think this is my favorite trick. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, 
I can see this going with screen test by Alakazam. I can see this going with um, in a pat in a uh, routine with um, like things like uh, what's the name of the Alakazam trick? I can't think with the movies. Oh, surprise cinema. You know, make, make this is a closer. That's all I could say. If it's an opener, it's going to open your eyes pretty pretty wide. Uh, but I definitely would not, uh, for me, open with this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, um, the thing I was going to say, the two things, right, that I did not like, that I think that maybe he'll consider next time, is, I'll give you an example, just so you can see it. Every single prop, whether it's the cards, or if it's the, um, like if it's the uh, postcards, or if it's the box, if it's the lanyard, it has branding everywhere. It says dream box everywhere. So, you know, people are gonna, what if people wanna look up what dream box means? And they put magic and then they find it. You're not really supposed to, I mean, it's not bad in a way that I've kind of found a way out of it because I go the dream route. I'm gonna be like, so you've done all of this and uh, I want you to try this experiment. I want you to imagine you're dreaming right now and you're gonna create an experience and then you know just go around that route because that's what, it'll make sense. And I think it's just, if you think about it too much, it's not gonna sound as strong as it might without this. You don't need to use the dream box thing here. You could just flip it around or you could just put a black piece of paper over it. It's, there's something in here that they do feel. Uh, but I won't say anything more, but you can cover the laminate. As for the cards, uh, I'll show you one so you can see what I mean. This is Hawaii and on the bottom it says dream box. And some of the celebrities, they also say dream box with a little picture icon on the bottom. It's tiny, but the branding, not a fan. Because, like I said, I think you guys might agree, uh, it's just overkill on, on, your pro on your own props. The props are great, like I said, but it's just, uh, I, I can't, uh, I can't understand why he would do that. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm going about the route, like, I want you to imagine this like it's a dream. In fact, you know, we're going to box it up right now and then put, put the laminate on and just don't forget to take the laminate off at the end because you can reveal this without the laminate and it's extra special when it's from the laminate. Um, the last thing I will say that I thought there was one more, but... I thought, if you watch the trailer, that in the end, that shows they did everything on that paper and it matches the, uh, um, the celebrity. Um, I think Dan Harlan actually is on that, the vocal for the tape. But I thought that was a souvenir that you give out to the spectator. I thought, um, they would have something like that was their memento to keep and think. Kind of like how Alakazam has the poker chips and those are nice things to give away. I mean, I just can't afford that right now. Uh, you know, so I'm just doing an impossible location. However, I might get a duplicate chip here or there if I can get my hands on one. So, same thing for this. Um, I uh, I would like to give a souvenir away with the end. So I'm gonna either ask, I did ask him, I think, for if he has the artwork for the, um, I mean, I can photocopy it and things like that, but I don't know. I'm trying to think maybe I shouldn't give this away at times, but I brought it up here because it looks like something you would give away. You wouldn't give away a poker chip, I mean, that's just something that I think Alakazam, uh, 
you know, it's it's do they're doing that. They're um, I don't have anything against it. I like I said, I I might want to do that, but I just don't have the money, um, and have already spent it on things like this. So um, I just I, I and, and personally, I don't think the poker chip is something to give away. Maybe in a po an impossible location like Nesta Wallets, I've been doing doing that, and that's kind of cool. But um, I liked, there was a picture of, I think, Dave Loosley, who had a glass triangle thing with the chip inside the middle. So I'm trying to think. But um, yeah, guys, lastly, you know, I'll perform this maybe later on. But uh, other than that, I really hope that you get this, but I also really hope that you don't get this. <laughs> because I want to perform it and be the only one and have a name to it. I, uh, I hope there's TV rights. If there's not, then boo hoo. Um, so, uh, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. And, uh, like I said, I would not know if Alakazam created this unless the box was different because you know how Alakazam products work. Um, so, I'm trying to steer clear of anything else until the new release. And I think I know what it is. And couple of others that are coming out this year um so thanks guys for watching um shoot me a message if uh you have anything about this or just want to chat all right guys peace till next time